Well, all right. So um, over this past week, we've seen um, a few instances of political violence or religious violence, whatever you terrorism, whatever you want to call it. You know, so first off, you had the, the whole Trump supporter sending a pipe pipe bombs through the mail to Democrats. And then you had this guy shooting up a, a Jewish church and killing 11 people. Both disgusting acts. And it's a, a really disgusting place, equally disgusting place that our country is in right now, where you have people on both sides of the political spectrum looking at the guy's you know, these perpetrators, these heinous people's political viewpoints or religious, whatever, mostly their political viewpoints, and then calling it right-wing terrorism or left-wing terrorism or whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's really disgusting how people do that and try to demonize the other side and score political points by using a tragedy like that to demonize their opponents. We've seen it with every side, too. This isn't just the Democrats that do it. Um... Both sides do it. And and when the Bernie Sanders supporter shot up a baseball field, I said that does not uh, and I'm I tried I, I'm obviously a, a Trump supporter, you know, I've made many videos about my support for him. I don't agree with him on everything, but I obviously support him a lot more than I support the Democrats. But when the Bernie Sanders supporter shot up a baseball field and almost killed Steve, Steve Scalise, I said that conservatives should not use this this horrible thing and, and use it to tr- demonize the left because it has no bearing on the left because most people who are democrats are peaceful people who have legitimate political beliefs just how most people on the right are people who have legitimate political beliefs and are good decent people but we don't realize that as a, as a society and we've gotten away from that, like I said, on both sides. And political violence happens on both sides. We've seen it, like I said, with the Bernie Sanders supporter, with Antifa. But I don't even like to call it left-wing terrorism or right-wing terrorism or whatever the hell you want to call it. Because I don't believe those people deserve to be grouped into the political spectrum. I, I, I believe you have to have certain viewpoints, like you don't discriminate people, you know, you aren't racist, you aren't sexist. You don't call people racist who disagree with you. I think there are certain qualifications to, to being grouped in, into the political spectrum. So I don't think we should be calling people, you know, far right or far left people, you know, terrorism, people who, be, because people who commit violence have no comparison to people who hold legitimate political beliefs. There's no comparison. The, the, the guy who shot up, shot up the baseball field has no comparison to a true Democrat uh, person who legitimately believes in that and, and then saying oh you know these people like the, the this trump supporter who sent the mail the, the the mail bombs you know oh he was riled up by trump trump provoked him such bullshit i, I mean it, it takes a, a real wacko to send to send bombs through the mail it takes a real wacko to go out and shoot up a baseball field Bernie Sanders is not responsible for that. Donald Trump is not responsible for that. You know who is responsible for that? The fucking person who did it. So so call out craziness. Put the blame on the person who did it. Not on Donald Trump. Not on Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders is not responsible for his millions of followers. Just like Donald Trump is not responsible for his mi- millions of followers. We're in a really shitty, fucked up place in society, and it's not just Republic. It's not just Democrats. It's 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 both sides that do it. This isn't a partisan video. This is a bipartisan video. You know, like when when this Jewish guy shoots up a church, this Jewish hater guy shoots up the church and kills eleven people. The first things I see are far right terrorism, far right terrorism, in an attempt to demonize Donald Trump in in, in the conservative movement, and then from the right. The first thing I see on Drudge Report is, oh, look at the guy. He didn't vote for Trump guy. He didn't vote for Trump. He was a Trump hater. It's just to score political points. So instead of like mourning over this horrible tragedy and, you know, you know, calling this guy a crazy, we are instead trying to demonize our political opponents and use this tragedy to score political points and, 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 to, and to look good. I mean, it's so disgusting, and and it's a really bad place our country is in right now, and um, 
and the media is obviously showing their bias too. So, and, um, and this will be the last point. So I guess I'm getting a little partisan here, but it's pretty obvious to anybody who has a brain that the media is very left wing and, and they support the Democrats and they hate Donald Trump. So when Donald Trump's family gets sent st shit in the mail, they, they, I mean, they talk about it, but not like they're talking about this whole thing now, like it's the end of the world. And like I said, this is not a good thing for our country. I don't support this guy and I condone all acts of political violence, but the media freaks out a hundred times more over this, this bomb, you know, the, the, they're calling it the make America great again, bomber. They're freaking out a hundred times more than they did about shit being sent to Trump's family, which just shows you the partisan nature of the media. Um, so there you go, people. That's all I got to say about that. Really disgusted with, with really both sides of the political, of, of, of the political spectrum and, and, and anybody who tries to use these type of things to demonize their political opponents. Um, because there's crazies on both sides, but yet those, those make up such a small percentage of the, the country. And we shouldn't use those people to, to represent a political movement. Because like I said, those are a tiny fraction. And these are just crazy people that don't even deserve to be lumped into the political spectrum. So there you go, people. There's my thoughts on that.